for the opportunity to be with you tonight. Um, Probably one of how's this guy from Cedar City who was born in Pangley, raised in Beaver, and ended up over here in Delaware, right? <laughs> well, it's one word, redistricting. As every 10 years when the census comes around, we do some redistricting. I've been in the Senate for 10 years. I'm currently the Senate Majority Leader, have been for the last four years, representing Washington Iron and Beaver County. Uh, now with redistricting, I pick up the Delta side of Miller County and also the western side of Juab County. And so anyway, it's really a pleasure to be with you. I, I look forward to uh, working with you if, if possible. And so I do have a primary election, so I appreciate your consideration and you know, your vote when that time comes. We do have a lot of ties uh, to, uh, to Delta. You know, we, we've got business relationships. A number of our employees and business partners work, work with us are from Delta. Our close acquaintances through the pharmacy industry and, and through uh, my legislative work with the with the education and DNR and other things. And now on top of that, my oldest granddaughter is marrying a young man from Delta. So it's really, we're looking for a Brandon Atkinson. So it's great that. So who am I? What kind of a guy am I? I'm a, I'm a real strong conservative Republican. Okay, first and foremost, education means a big deal to me. I'm the first college graduate of my family. So it really does. And so well, what does that mean? Everybody can say that, but what does it really mean? To me, it means that our kids deserve to have Good schools, good curriculum, good environment, good teachers, and then good parents that care. And as I've looked at looked at your schools and your the people that are here, I think that you do a good job. Now, if you go through that, well, most of those things are determined at the local level. And so local government is a real big deal to me on all levels. And that's why I really feel like it's important to have good quality people like the ones that are here tonight that are running for these offices that you and you can choose, and you know them, you're your neighbors, you can work with them to make those decisions. The state can have, yes, we're gonna set policy, we're gonna have to help with funding and those kind of things, but a lot of those really important issues are decided on the local level. Relationships are a big deal. I, obviously, I wouldn't uh, be the majority leader if I hadn't developed those relationships. I've found that throughout my career. Uh, I developed a lot of philosophy, so I'm very conservative fiscally. Uh, how could I not be with the uh, parents who went through the depression, and you know, they, they taught me how to take care of things. And you know, we, we, you know what it is, we all, we grew up in these small towns, that's just what it's like, that's what we do. And so I believe in low taxes, and that's why I was the lead sponsor on SB 59, which is you know, the reduced income tax by $200 million this year. I also believe in personal liberty and personal choice, not a government mandate. That's why I sponsored SB you know, what, 195 and each people 1007 would actually revamp all of the emergency powers of the state. And there's quite a story to that, and I need to talk to you about it sometime. A couple of things, and let me just go on because my time's moving, but I want to tell you, I want to finish on some things that the state does well. So we always get labeled as the best managed state in the country, and for good reasons. We have different kind of budgeting process. Number one, all of our legislators are part of an appropriation committee, so we all have a say in how they can do the budget. <clears throat> We're one of the few states that separate money out into ongoing pots and one-time pots. We never spend one-time money on ongoing programs because that creates a deficit. We can even use on ongoing money to create one-time projects, so we have a working rainy day fund. We have a billion dollars of rainy day funds. Rich states, poor states, rates the states every year on their business climate. So those states that are best approved for, the, for, for businesses. So most attractive to businesses coming into the state, well, Utah was ranked number one. And that's a big story. The bigger story is we've been ranked number one for 15 years in a row. So also, the Wall Street Journal rated everybody, every state, on how they came through on the pandemic. Okay, they rated them on three things. They rated them on the economy, the death and transmission rate, and then there's schools. How many, how many hours kids actually spend in school? Is it their opinion that kids in schools learn better? Guess what? Utah was ranked number one. So even though all the turmoil, there's all the, all the controversy over those things, we've done very well. So I, I just want to just want to finish by saying thank you. Thank you for allowing me to, to come and be with you. Thank you for allowing me to represent you, hopefully, in, this, in the Senate and continue to do that. I will tell you this. My parents taught me that I have to do my very best in everything I do, and I promise you that if you'll give me the chance, I will do my very best to represent you. Thank you.